Valley of Grace. And you can hear it all at hearitfirst.com. Well, the other day, um, we were singing at the Grand Ole Opry, and Marty Stewart was the host, so he introduced us. And so he was introducing Point of Grace, and he said, and, you know, they also have a cookbook coming out entitled Cooking with Grease. And, so <laughs> and Shelley, it's not. It's Cooking with so Grace. And so Shelly's over, all, you know, stage right, and she's like, no, 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 Cooking with Grace. And he's like, well, it says right here, Cooking with Grease. <laughs> and Lee's like, like behind me going, well, that's really true. Yeah. yeah. Put it away, you know. So it was really funny. And then we go out there, and. I wish I was doing that. Just start singing like it was just nothing. <laughs> but yeah, a cookbook, it's coming out uh, with the record. And it was actually derived from the idea of mm -hmm. Julie, uh, our friend Julie that wrote a Greatest Show with us. And I think um, just the whole setup um, was revolved around um, a dear friends of ours that work for an organization called The Raining Season and, and our friend Jesse that... Um, went to Africa. She just has a heart for the, these children and so her, she came back with that passion and it became uh, contagious for us as well. And so, um, so Julie's idea was why don't we do a cookbook and some of the proceeds goes back to feeding these hungry kids. These kids that, that need not only nutrition but they need love and everything. And so it's a great little uh, conglomeration of, of effort and um, it was fun for us. You know in the beginning I was like oh. <laughs> I got a good. I don't want to do Shelly the good. Okay, right. But by the time you know, I've had my little pity party, and um, for me, it was a great opportunity to get my mom on the phone and say, "How did you make this? Why did you make this? Oh, I remember when you made this." And a lot of the um, a lot of the contributions that I gave to the cookbook really just helped me go back in time and appreciate my heritage where I came from. So really it's kind of a scrapbook mm -hmm. of, of Point of Grace and yeah. a lot of fun. We got to share, you know, a lot of friends that make our lives work here, mm -hmm. you know, and stuff and being able to talk about our grandmas, you know, my both my grandmas have passed away now and are home with the Lord, but being able to tell about them, you know, is an opportunity for me to share just some of my heritage and um, so I think it's going to be fun for people. Well, I hope, you know, that in the midst of their um, we try to give them ideas for parties and all that kind of mm -hmm. stuff because mm -hmm. I'm likely not just great and super comfortable in a kitchen, but I'm learning to be. But, you know, when you have a party, you don't want to be stressed the whole time. You want to be able to enjoy your company. And so we try to give them little tips mm -hmm. on easy food that looks hard, but, you know, maybe kind of give them a menu so they don't have to think, okay, that go, what could that go with? You know, give them a little menu to try out. And so hopefully along with... Um, with um, giving them recipes and little stories to get to know us better, they can also um, be, uh, you know, share with their friends and family um, through food. So we've had lots of fun though, yes. just being able to cook recipes together. And I mean, anybody that's been to our concerts knows that we talk about food all the time. <laughs> And talk about recipes or things that we've eaten and so also in the book it's not just our favorite recipes that have kind of made their way around town and throughout the industry I think every one in this industry has had Shelly's mom salsa oh, like yeah, we wow. passed it around and brought it to word for Christmas gifts and everything so we have all those kind of recipes that our fans have probably heard us talk about along the way but um, also, we've got some great stories from the road and, and recipes that we've gotten from people on the road. We have one in there, this awesome cheese ball that I cannot remember the person that gave it to us, but it was in our dressing room at yep. Christmas time, uh -huh. and we ate the whole oh cheese ball. Gosh, this so is three good. of us by the time, and I got <laughs> the recipe. So, so it's just called Church Lady's Cheese Ball in the cookbook because I have no idea where I got the recipe from, but the Lord know, knows. So that's right, and that lady will probably see it and go, "Where are my royalties?" Right? <laughs> and be like, "Sorry."